guys welcome to the just pearly things youtube channel. this woman is like uh like the biggest pick me right no i no. want to know i want to learn from you sir you want to learn from me well i yes, want to well i wanted to answer i feel like it goes for these are like all the th these are like the the anti-feminist women's squad with andrew tate right both it's they talk for three hours god dude I, I don't know what this is. Should we should we look at this a little bit? Uh. Any money. Find a nine to five. Work regular. Save your money. Learn to cook. Oh my God. There's British women in this too. I really don't want to listen to this. There's British people in this. No shot. Of time without devaluing herself because she is people. She shouldn't be. They're also, what happened to Brittany Renner? Like she's now alpha dog, brain pilled, red pilled. Is that what she, was happening with her? There was a time and place where we were supposed to have her on the broadcast, like where she ripped into the fresh and fit fools. And now, and now she's over here. I don't know, but she's a baddie. I mean, yes, we all know that. That's like universal truth. I want to like, no I basically want to like catch like a good one in here. You know what I mean? Like the women don't need men. Okay. So let me ask you a question. So are any of these women like actually feminists or what? Andrew Tate destroys feminists. So she's the feminist. Is that what it is? Obviously, back then, for survival, women needed a man. Otherwise, when they were pregnant, they could die and all of these things, they would perish. In today's society, given evolution, given the fact that as women, we can you go still and get... Need men. Yeah, but I'm, I'm not saying that. Isn't there a glitch between what is actually happening and the nature of what we have in our bodies? I think that's probably the conflict that we're having right now. Glitch in what way? In the sense that women don't feel like they need men in the most physical sense, perhaps yeah, like right. naturally. It's, it's very interesting. Women don't feel like they need men in a physical sense because life is soft. But it's... Mm. But it's, but it's and it's because you still need men by proxy, one. And Dude, that's so funny. These takes are awesome. It's like, it's because society is soft now. It's like, first of all, you have the tightest jeans I've ever seen on, okay? I don't want to hear from you wearing literally the tightest athleisure looking, fake khaki, not really khaki, actually sweatpants jeans, okay? This is the sluttiest thing you could wear while still not actually looking good, okay? And they're capris too. So shut the f up. That's number one. Number two, yeah, 4% spandex Andy. Number two, the idea that like society is soft now and like we got to go back to hard body society. Very weird. The f do you mean? It's like, oh man, I hate the, I hate the technological improvements that I take advantage of on a daily basis because it's made women not reliant on uh, men get better dude find a way to be uh find a way to be better in this modern day and age okay how about that instead of complaining that society has made it so that like uh you know you can't uh defend females from uh the the apex predators when they walk out of the cave i love the cute little orange slices that he's been munching on those are mandarins my friend even i know that two the second life gets difficult you very quickly you very quickly learn how much you need men but women will go i'm an independent i don't need no man because i have an only fans and men bear my only fans and if anyone comes up to me i'll call a male police officer i don't need men shut up of course you do mm. you just named your whole life is based on Man, the road you're driving on was paved by a man. The house you're living in was built by a man. The car you're driving was, was designed. This is so odd. It's like, it's like taking the hyper individualist take under capitalism, and and turning it into men versus women. Like I've heard this so many times, right? Like I've heard it so many times. It's true. Like these roads were paved by people, their workers in general. But like he takes that and flips it on its head and says, like, you know. It's it's men that made all of this. And it's like, okay, well, women played a role in all of that societal development, you know? I don't know if you know this, but, like, you're, you didn't get birthed from a cock. Someone didn't just, a man didn't just shit you out. Designed by a man. Your whole life depends on men. And the second anything bad were to happen to you, the second you were physically threatened, or times were to get hard, or war were to start, or famine, or riots, the first thing... Like, all bad things. Again. All, just... It's like, oh, if all these bad things were to happen, you'd be needing men real hard it's like yeah but like we should probably avoid that you know what i mean those are bad things why is it that like men are only useful in in moments where there's like really awful shit happening you're not making a good ass argument for men right now it's like <laughs> yeah only men can protect you from other men doing awful things that men regularly do but those are good things now because you know men are doing it and men are infallible you do is find a big strong man shit yourself and throw the feminism out the window mm. feminism goes out the fucking window the second that the snow needs shoveling or there's a
broken down car or the tire needs changing. Then all that crap vanishes. It's garbage. And this is the actual, the very interesting thing. I'll make a point here, which is going to get me canceled again, but I don't give a <laughs> but, but, but this is the point. Feminism in and of itself can't. Yeah, bro. Chirping this much? Not very manly. I'm just going to say it. Chirping this much while wearing the tightest capri jeans I've ever seen in my entire life, dude. Sorry. It's cool, though. It's yet another example of, like, people, people, often very dumb people, will override the aesthetics when they are hyper-focusing on the words that are coming out of his mouth. He's, like, already, he's already basically presented himself as, like, the alpha dog. So people don't give a shit. You know what I mean? Common shaming and bullying for his looks. Bro, come on. He's like the biggest bully. We we need to we need to have fun with this a little bit. You can't be like, I'm an alpha dog, dude. I love Andrew Tate. And then cry in a corner because I made fun of his like incredibly tight pants. I mean, these are guys who are literally like, Hassan, you are the biggest homosexual man on the planet. You wore a dress one time. You paint your fingernails. You're literally gayer than a dude that is currently sucking multiple Like... I can't, I can't give that bag a little bit. Also, I don't even give a shit about what you wear. I wear tight pants too. Like I said, my point is more so about people being like, oh, well, when Andrew Tate does it, it's actually manly. Okay. But when someone else does it, it's not manly. It's, it's gay. His homies were telling you to sit down to pee the other day. Yeah, exactly. Can't be defended. Any idea, the point of an idea is that it can be defended by the people who believe in it. This has been the whole point of war since the dawn of time. It doesn't matter if it was the Christians against the Hindus. It doesn't matter if it was the Germans against the French. There were people who had ideas and ideologies, and they were prepared to fight each other to defend their ideology. Feminism is an ideology which cannot be defended by feminists. Wait, that's so funny. It's like, you're giving, like, the worst examples. Like, these are all... We are now... We have overcome that. Like, we're, we're in 2022. No one is thinking that, like, all those prior wars were actually really good. Why are you making, why are you making the worst argument for men? Like, you could have just gone with, like, men uh, have worked really hard to build civilization, you know what I mean? Build the roads and stuff. That was fine. But now you're like, men are constantly shit up. They're constantly fighting against one another. It's like the reverse side of, like, the feminist radlib, uh, rad libs where they're like if a woman was president there would be no war it's like no there still would be war the only people who could defend feminism are the men who subscribe to the garbage if you if all the feminists were to get in a, in, a, in a line and say we want feminism and the conservative men were to get in a line you would learn very quickly it's bullshit i had a friend in afghanistan i mean this is literally this, this is literally might is right over and over again might is right might is right meanwhile you're not like you're not a caveman, dog. Like, it's so stupid. Let's hear the buddy of mine in Afghanistan. Then when Taliban kicked America out. And he told me the Americans were, tell were telling the girls they could go to school. So they built all these girls' schools, and they put the Afghanistan Defense Forces there, and they get funded the Afghanistan Defense Forces to, to, to protect these schools. You had American satellites. You had night vision goggles. Taliban were afraid to attack. America leaves. Now you have Afghani defense forces. They're basically blind. They don't have satellites anymore. Don't have, don't have a night vision, whatever. So now it's a real war. There ain't no way this is about to say that the, what the Taliban is doing is wrong when they're just doing more of the things that he's advocating for. There ain't no way he's about to just say that the Taliban is wrong for not letting women go to school when he simultaneously is like basically advocating for that. Hold war. up. The men are standing next to this girl's school. The Taliban are coming. You're some dude. You're standing there, and you're looking at this girl's school going, I don't really give a fuck if girls go to school. Bounce. And you just and you didn't fight. So that's why they all gave up, and Taliban took over so quickly. And when I said this, the girl's like, yeah, they should have fought for us, feminism. The, why don't the women fight? Can I ask? Oh, wait, the women can't defend their own idea. You need men to defend feminism. So that's why the whole thing is stupid. <laughs> so wait, I don't get it. Why does he, why does he even want... I guess he didn't really... To be fair, he didn't really give a take on whether or not it's good or bad that the women can no longer go to school. So I think maybe we can infer that he thinks it is a good thing that the Taliban are not allowing little girls to go to school no more. Second men don't defend it. It, does, it just fails as a f***ing ideology. It's garbage. May I tell you something now? So this is the thing. This is when we assume that women perhaps don't have the physical or even mental ability to go to assume. a war. Assume. Wait, wait, wait. Because this is the thing. For example, in Ukraine, a lot of women took up arms. And in fact, I'm Angolan. Wait. Wait, wait, I'm Angolan. Wait, wait, I'm Angolan. And don't lie listen, to the people at home. Wait, don't worry. I'll talk about my Never. personal you wanna story. Go to war? You no, fight wait, the let lines? me tell you. Let me tell you something. This is the thing. I think it's also really <laughs> like silly to assume that, for example, a woman, because she didn't go to school, she'll not be as intelligent. That's why Andrew Tate is an anti-communist, because he saw all those female snipers from the USSR and was like, they were killing the, the, the Nazis. 
all these women would get rifles and they'd be sharpshooters and they'd be killing the Nazis. And I don't like that. Like, there are plenty of instances where women have also uh, played a fundamental role in both, like, supportive roles, but also, like, in the, in the uh, uh, you know, in the front lines as well. I mean, look at the, the, uh, the, the Kurdish uh, militias all around the Middle East. Like, there, you know, there's, there's plenty of instances where women are also taking up arms and shit. Original women were added to the U.S. Army as a joke, but they were more courageous than the men when they hold their own, obviously. Yeah, no one told them about the night witches that had Germany shitting bricks in their bombing sprees. Yeah, I mean... Uh, in the North Vietnamese uh, uh, army, there were women that were working. Women have always participated in, in war. I don't. It's not like it's a it's a good thing. War is not a good thing in general. But like there are certainly a shitload of examples of women, you know, in the front lines. Intelligent as a man, therefore naturally a woman is not intelligent. No, it doesn't make sense. If we're not starting to normalize equality and we want to put everybody in the forefront, give a woman a Who's gun. Who's normalizing equality? Well, that's what what people are wanting. Then that, that's people the case. Like who? Let me tell you, auntie, who wants to normalize let, equality? People. Like, oh, feminist. Who no, else wants to? I want, well, actually, no equality. I want respect. That's really all I want. stopping you from getting respect. Exactly. No, no, I get respect. I, I, get respect. Get respect. I get respect. So, that's what I want. That's what I like. Respect. What I think is... You don't even know what you want. I'll tell you what I you want. You don't know what you want. You want I, equality. As a woman, I carry myself respect. differently. I actually hold the things that I have done in the fights that I fought. I hold it. That's why when you speak to me, I don't move different. I move different to many of the girls. That's why when you talk to me and you argue with me, I, I don't, don't take it. You do sometimes. And I'll tell you something. A lot of women may have the accolades to be somebody but they are uncomfortable to own that and the reason why then i would like to ask you for example um i do need a woman a man for example to you know per wait she's not i thought she was maybe like she doesn't seem weird she seems kind of normal is what are one of these ladies like a feminist is she a feminist or i guess what is portrayed as a feminist here even though she is kind of like saying that you know i deserve uh i mean i i earn my respect or something which is like you know you should just Still, like she's like, as a woman, I, I earn the praise from my behavior, but it's like still kind of weird. No, you like everyone should get that. Yeah, like men get it. They don't have to f for it. Let's be real. If we're going to if we're going to think about it from the same like dynamic between like men and women and get a level of respect across the board or a, a level of amenities across the board for being men that women have to like earn or create but other than that i'm quite strong and i would find things that i would find a way to protect myself differently it, with that mentality Denava. what would be Denava. the man that'll be for me then Denava, Denava, what would you do if one of these security guards broke into your door what would I do? <laughs> okay, you, I'll tell what you. What would you do? What would one, you do? No, seriously, there's she's no a, guns she's, here. She's a feminist. I'll she's tell you. No, I'm not a she feminist. This is so weird. It's like, man has supposedly, I think, evolved away or tries to evolve away from the might is right type violence, right? In this day and age, especially when we have weapons, it's kind of like a, like a stupid point. On this planet, if your only argument is like, very, I'm a man. And I will protect you from, like, other men that want to, like, kill you or whatever. You kind of got nothing. It's, it's dumb. It's dumb as feminist. As they take I'm, a, I'm, not, I'm not a feminist. I'm, I'm a bit smarter. Okay, Either okay. I play no, dead, one. <laughs> yeah. Okay, they see you're not dead. Uh, it's okay. They, they no, I'd be breathing. like this. And then if not, maybe I would kind of, like, be very gentle and comply to find a way to get out okay, of it. So if they want to come and an, kill me, but let's make an there's not much point. that many people but can let's do. let's make an important point. You're talking about equality equaling respect. The way you get respect is... Okay, what if the f guy has a gun? Like, this is so... St these hypotheticals are so dumb. You know what I mean? Like, this hypothetical is not how you operate your life. Like, you can't operate your life on that. Oh, in a self-defense style situation you need a man there it's like okay well what if the woman is ronda rousey okay what if the woman is like uh that cyborg woman who everybody uh was was uh, talking about like how she was cheating or some shit like oh here's a hypothetical situation that i'm using to draw your attention away from an overarching argument here's a hypothetical in my hypothetical situation i win okay well what about dude what are, what are you supposed to do craft a counter hypothetical where you win as a woman is by being feminine there's nothing, uh, we can be equal and very, very different. I'm not saying that when there's not equality, but you've confused equality with the same. You can be equal equity. with completely different things. You can have a bishop and a knight on a chessboard. They're equal in terms of points, but they do different things, right? Mm -hmm. A woman can have equal respect to a man if she is very good at being a woman, and a man gets respect for being very good at being a man. When a woman decides she wants to act like a man or a man wants to act like a woman, that's where all gets up. We try to pretend yes. it's all the same. It's not the same. Men and women are good at different things. We have different strengths, different weaknesses. There's nothing wrong with accepting that. There's nothing wrong with saying, I'm a woman, I'm good at X, he's a man, he's good at Y. Then we work together as a team, we have a beautiful family, we're happy forever. It's only confused where you have women who sit and go, Yeah, I don't think he's seeing that. 
I don't think that's happening for him. Yeah, the question the person asks is beyond stupid. Anyone in this situation is either going to act on it or not act on it. Gender is irrelevant. Exactly. That's why I said entirely dependent. It is entirely dependent on the circumstances. How is he wrong? Please explain. Dude, your name is Kant Osman, okay? He said commentate W. If you're the type of dude that spams commentate W in a chat, I'm pretty sure in a self-defense style situation, you're, you're going to get asked, okay? Depending on what the guy wants to do with you, you are that person's pet now. Okay, this is not a man or woman thing. It's just what is within the bounds of reason, okay? What do you have? Can you actually defend yourself? This has nothing to do with being a woman. That's why I gave you the hypothetical where it's like, okay, well, what if it's fucking Ronda Rousey? The idea that like all girls are weak and dumb and all men are strong and powerful is stupid. It, there, there is truth to this, right? Like that's why, uh, you know, women are more likely to be assaulted by a man and, and therefore like that kind of, you know, the whole parking lot situation that we've talked about before where it's like a literally threatening scenario. Making inferences off of that is really stupid. Like larger gender role inferences. Assuming that every woman, regardless of their, assuming that every woman, regardless of their skill set, is going to be bad at a particular task and every man, regardless of their skill set, is going to be good at a particular task is stupid that's it that's my point but it's also at the heart of like conservative thinking don't think about things in a nuanced way and try to go into you know previously thought out well-defined narrow boxes and think about the world through that lens it'll make it easier for you that's literally what he's trying to do this is what he always does and a lot of people fall for it oh no because in the name of equality we can fight and work there's no women on the front line in ukraine that is psyop bullshit they put some chick there dancing around doing pokemon <laughs> dances to try and convince men to go <laughs> die in a ditch it's garbage if you go to the front line of ukraine right now you do not see women in their makeup and their manicures you see men in the freezing cold dying you know? wait what i mean also not true i mean there are plenty of women that are dying in the front lines of ukraine too you know where the women are dubai chilling that's where the what? women are so mm. to sit and pretend that women are just as capable physically as men is a <laughs> lie it's delusion to send that you're as strong as men is delusion you are good no at way. other things you're better than men at a lot of things but it's not the physical world and the unfortunate reality about life this is what we're saying when i was saying earlier that feminism goes out the window when things get hard the harder the world gets it the, it, the closer it gets to the baseline of humanity the unfortunate baseline of, of, of humanity is violence yeah. that's what happens when if of all the electricity were to go out and all the police were to quit this would become a violent place very quickly and there would be Zero feminists left. Zero. You would all need men. That's the bottom line of reality. That's the bottom line. So you have to yes. understand as a woman and say, okay, no I need a man who's good it. at being a man. But no but, one's but, saying that we don't need men in society. Of course we do. We're talking about relationships. <laughs> this is so dumb. Society's already violent. Okay? Incredibly violent. But if the power grid went out, we're f anyway. What do you mean? This motherfucker is so ride or die for his little theories that he's like, this is what he's going to be doing when power, when the power is out. I'm pretty sure there are plenty of men who would very easily turn this into mincemeat, okay, as well, if the power went out. Like, what do you mean? That's an awful situation. It's done. It's like, yeah, okay, well, you know, if a nuclear holocaust were to happen tomorrow, then, you know, you would rely on all the men then. It's like, bro, what are you saying right now? Yeah, you're strong. But the thing is, I can live my life as a woman and not need a man. What's a woman? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Pearl, stop like, it. Like, in my, in my day to day life, I don't need a man to fix my car. I'll just go to the mechanic. But listen, right? I listen, yeah. But is the mechanic a man but, or a woman? No, no. I'm saying, yes, we need men in society, but in relationships, the only reason I actually need you is because I want you. I don't actually need you. Do you know what? I, I, want, I, need, I need you to procreate. Yes, I. Yeah, it's so funny. It's like, she's right, though. Yeah, not every man knows how to fix a car it, again you're relying on tropes i'm almost certain that that bitch ass andrew tate does not know how to fix an engine if he did good on him that doesn't make him more manly that just makes him someone who has interests okay it's so stupid it is so incredibly stupid to be like oh you need a man when you need to fix your engine it's like yo what are you talking about division of labor is very feminine you're a man you need to learn everything about every part of the world about every part of the assembly line that's what men are for i andrew tate know how to make this bugatti by myself with my bare hands because i'm a man I agree but the things i don't need you in my day-to-day -day life what, what if someone, but wait what wait what if someone breaks into your house i'll just call the police okay what if they don't come what if it, the average is, Play in, the US, in the U.S. it takes like 15 <laughs> and give them everything. In, in, the fifth, in, in the U.S. it takes like 15 that minutes is, for them to get there. But that's not realistic. What? That okay, doesn't okay, happen no, on okay, a day-to-day okay, okay, okay. life. These wow. two guys in your... In
Is that what you're looking for in a man? Is that what it is? I don't get it. Like your goal in a successful, healthy relationship with a man in 2022 is like how well they can defend you in a self-defense style situation. Like this is so stupid. Who the fuck is factoring that in? Just get a dog, dude. Just get a dog. Okay. What could possibly be happening in your life that you are constantly under threat of like assault, like under, under threat of like, uh, you know, death squads breaking through your door like you're John Wick. It's also funny because like men die when, you know, breaking and entering situations happen. Men can die too, just as easily as women. It's not like men are bulletproof, dude. In your house, what are you doing? But that's not realistic. I've not had any man break into my house on no, a day to day. No, point, it doesn't happen. Point, the point is, so let's be realistic I know, I know what now. I, I know what you're saying, but the, the point is this. The point is, when we're talking about feminism as a whole, feminism as a whole demonizes men. And you just said, you just sat and said, besides procreation, I don't need a man in my life. I can go to a male mechanic or call a male police officer. They're men. So it's it, in it's, society, it, so, you yeah, are needed. Yeah. I agree. I agree. Okay. Of so, course, so, so, we of, need you. Of course. So you're talking about being with a man because you want to. So yeah. my, my question to you is, why would you want to be with a man? Why would a man want to be with you? Because they're sexy. But, like, obviously, I feel like because of the <laughs> they, no, 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 they no, got guys, something and we to talk them. about men. Sorry, no, 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 no. I love men. No, I love dick. We don't okay? sound like it, but it's not all about dick. What I'm trying to say is no, that uh, in a good relationship, right, one that works, there's blue jobs and there's pink jobs. <laughs> right, and that's the problem that women have got. Oh, gee, they don't want to be doing no pink jobs. But that's not you know what we're talking about. We're talking, we're talking about. We're talking about relationships. Why do you need a man in a relationship? Because you want a partner. What what companionship, partner? friendship, yes, romantic love, things romantic, that you can't get yeah. by yourself. Take, like you want to go on dates with him. It's not about I need someone to fix my car. Like go to a mechanic. <laughs> You're not safe. Call the police. Not like true. it's not that right. deep. Right. 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 Wait, wait. What about a father to your kids? You don't think your exactly. kids are needed? Exactly. You can be around. I, I, I definitely want that. These are the stuff. This is the reason why no, you need, need a man. That. That's and, that's and that's I that's agree. Wait, wait, wait. It's not. It's not that you want it. You need it. I agree. And these are the stuff that I need in a man but it's like at the end of the day it's not like i completely need you it's but, like, I the, want the whole, you. but the whole point mm. is if the lights went out tomorrow you would need a man in There's society no, agree she's good bro because <laughs> ain't nobody locking her up <laughs> if that's the case then just pearly things is Dude. <laughs> Why do we have like women are so no, 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 useless? I'm saying, I'm not I can't change a no, tire. No, I'm saying I'm saying if if the lights went out tomorrow, you would need someone to protect you. You yes, would, of course. Can in I society, say, not my boyfriend. I'll go on the ground. Like, half of my exes can't even do anything. Can I, well, yo, That's choice. actually another poor problem. Choice. A lot of men can't do much. Do you know what I mean? Not everybody in this day and age, it, Dude, this is so stupid. Like that mother doesn't know how to do 90% of the shit that he's promoting that men are doing, okay? He is pampered as a motherfucker, dude. The only difference between me and Andrew Tate is like, I admit it, okay? And I think it's stupid to be like, oh my God, the lights went out. Like, what the f is he gonna do when the lights go out, bro? If he can't refuel his Bugatti, what's he gonna do? Nothing. But he doesn't know the first thing about electricity, bro, okay? Is he an electrical engineer? How is he gonna fix the grid? How is he gonna actually f power his home? How is he going to brave the elements? Is that what he's going to do? No. In this day and age, guys can't even Listen, fit a tire. You cannot. <laughs> you cannot. No, no, no. Women can cook. Hey, not minute. true, women, my sister. But I can cook. I can cook. And the thing is, I'm not, I'm not even. And you can't speak to your brothers. Listen, they don't know how to do nothing. I'm not even saying. Guys, 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 guys. Can I just say something? We have to do one at a time. Can I just say something? This is why you can't blame all men for your poor choices. You can't say, I'm talking to both of you because you are saying, yeah, my man can't do this. My man can't do that. What, and you want to settle down. Why would you go and choose a man that can't do these things that you wanted them to do? Because my man could do all the blue I jobs. I need a man. Because most that men grow up with a PlayStation instead. Jobs. Most no. men grow up okay, with a PlayStation okay, okay. and that you're porn choosing. and things. Yes, yes, no, it's not. no, that's okay, the truth. Okay. It's not. It's speak not. For, speak for yourself. Speak for yourself. That's the man you this pick. Right. I'm you sorry. What, I don't need a mechanic to my boyfriend. You know what? I need a father to my children. I don't need. You know something, bro? No roughneck blue collar is sitting around at the oil rig listening to a three-hour podcast. Where like a bunch of British ladies are chirping about how men ain't shit, okay? What fantasy are you living in? It's all the PlayStation weirdos and console weirdos like ourselves sitting around listening to it. And the one side is LARPing as though they are the, you know, the rough and tumble trade guys, okay? When they're not, they're literally just pasty incels 
on uh, that that LARP on the internet about being a master race. And then on the other side, you have a bunch of queer-coded uh, uh, children who are watching this as well going, hey, you know, this is kind of stupid and dumb. At least one side is honest, though. And I, let me tell you, it's not the side LARPing as a bunch of, you know, rough-and-tumble oil rig guys, okay? Like, nobody who's, like, actually working a trade job or whatever. Right. She, needs a a a a she needs a father for her children, right? Yeah. So she's going to go out there, right, and you're going to buy your child an electric car. You're going to go and buy your child a bicycle. Who the hell is going to put out the bicycle and fix the electric car? Who's going to do it? you got YouTube. I know how to do these Bro, things. I, I, I fixed the Bentley before. Why I fixed the Bentley. If you can do everything yourself, go and get some sperm donor or something because you obviously don't need a man. Because, That's the future, I, I think, and the thing you know. Is, no, it's not, the future for who? No, of That's the society. Problem. Because at the Auntie, end of the day, right, what listen, year are you living Emma, in? The what year, year are you living, living in? in? Because <laughs> like, I'm going to like, wait, we are in the stone age. Let me finish talking. Let me finish talking, right? Now, you you got a man, right? And you've been busy all day, right? And you're in your bed at one o'clock in the morning. And your man comes in with all of his friends and said, oh, babes, all the friends are here. They're hungry. What are you going to do? Yeah, I'll cook for my man. I, I'm, I'm a traditional woman in that aspect. Yeah, in I what love aspect? to cook what for my man. Why is it that when people start you, cooking, they you, think that cooking is traditional? It's, it's everything. It's not just about cooking. But, they always say, I, oh, I, I, I cook for my man, so I'm traditional. Person, Why are they mad about, like, I, I don't even understand. Are, I, it seems like they're in agreement with one another, but they're yelling at each other for some weird reason, and I don't know what's going on there. No, 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 no. I have no, a question. Wait, 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 wait. I have a question. Are you a virgin? You're traditional, you're virgin. Are you a virgin? And, no, no, I, said, I said in that aspect, I'm not going to comment on me being a virgin or not, but what I'm going to say is, Every every human being should be able to cook. She's a Man she's a hybrid woman. of tradition and modernization. I'm a person that survives. You know, I need to cook to, to right. survive. Can, can I can I ask Mr. Take something? Right, right I'm gonna ask you something. Sure. <laughs> right, because I, I I can't I don't like bullshit. Right, and I, there's certain people that I can't Why even bear so talking to. Right, so I'm gonna talk to him because so far he's talking sense. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's You're given welcome. pick me. Right. Uh -uh, no. Who said pick me? Listen, who said it? Who just said pick they me? They want me. Don't look no, at me. Did, did I, say, did, I said, I said, did it's you give me? Give him, pick me. Give him, because we're having a whole listen, conversation. Right, listen, right. Like, I don't want to talk to you. I don't talk to Mr. Tate. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. I've been with my man for 32 <laughs> years. Clap right? for yourself. 32 years. I don't need to clap for myself because I'm happy. I'm not here. And what I was going to ask him, right, is how would you think a woman? Would you think Why are you that shouting? woman? Can would you think that woman? Who's calm down? I'm loud. I'm naturally, you don't want to hear me shout. Anyway, Mr. Tate, like I was saying before we got rudely interrupted, right? Now, if you, is this your idea of a woman that you think deserves a man? I'm here, single, but I'm, I'm looking. I'm here, I'm, I'm like taking, you know, if you want to hook. Why does anybody care about Mr. Tate? I'm going to be honest with you, I don't think he's interested in women. Everything I've seen of Andrew Tate like and the way he talks about women, I'm pretty sure he's not into women, okay? I've seen Andrew Tate. And the way that he looks at women. And I've seen Andrew Tate and the way that he looks at Aiden Ross. Hook me up. Let me know. And I just want any and anybody but choose. How does that make you feel? Uh, what is that kind of woman that you think deserves a man? Well, he's a top G. You can't be asking him this question. But you about us top mere G's, mortals. Isn't it? We're mere mortals, Auntie. Speak for yourself. I'm no mere mortal. I'm a mere mortal, mortal, mortal in his presence. <laughs> because nobody, nobody Come on now. Me. Which I kind of question be that? Auntie, I'm not like you. We have options. I'm a mere mortal. Let's see this man over We have options, Auntie. Even this 8.5. If you have options, then where's your ring? That is the most stupid thing. Because I actually can choose. I've not found a man that I want to be with. Okay, that's fine. I know you're reality. Is this a psyop to make it seem like women podcasters are garbo? What's happening here? Like, are they so misogynistic that they're like, we're going to actually prove a point? Because, like, Andrew Tate proves that point for men on a regular basis, right? Why the f*** are you guys overperforming right now? What What is this? They're, like, so into the Tradcast lifestyle, they're literally like, don't watch this podcast because it's made by women. Stop, 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 you got to beg a man to keep you? Hang on a minute, hang on a minute, hang on a minute, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. You said, unlike you, yeah. I have options. We have options, yeah. You're out here looking for a man. You're out here saying that you're looking where, for a where man. Where did I say I was looking for a man? Damn, she was ruthless to her. Except, ironically, in a feminist planet, in, if this was a feminist uh, world, okay, if there was, like, global homo, global feminism, then she would have options because, like, she would not be worth, her worth would not be directly tied to just the way she looks. That's how you always lose. As a woman... If you're dick riding the patriarchy, you're always going to lose because you have a shelf life under the patriarchy. You hit 27 and it's over. You know what I mean?
It's not actually in real life. It's not luckily. Okay. But like in the eyes of these motherfuckers, like it's done. You're done. It's crazy. It's weird. How are you as a woman going to dick ride patriarchy that hard? Oh my gosh. You was at the advertising when we done the introductions. I That's what you said. I said I was doing it. That is what you said. I didn't say I was going oh out looking for a man. God. I said I'm doing it. Wait a minute. So you come to me. I might decide if I want you, Mr. Tate. Listen, to, listen to this insult, right? Listen to the. Oh, so, I'm not insulting listen, you. Hang on. Listen. Oh, I'm then what do you call it? You. Sign language. What I'm learning. Sign language. <laughs> right? Listen to what she just said. Guys, I'm not saying as a woman you're done. Your shelf life is 27. I'm saying that as a woman. If you're dick riding the patriarchy, you are literally trying to reinforce attitudes that claim that your shelf life is 25 or 27. That is what's really stupid. You are unironically def defending your own demise. Men are right to cheat. Oh, what? Ask you something. What about what does the, the, the woman want in your eyes? What do you think? And what's the game you give for the boys? I'm, I'm going to tell you. But before that, I need another Clementine. And I need to give half to our friend here because she just <laughs> rolled her eyes at me. And I'm perspicacious. I notice everything. She doesn't realize that I'm a ninja. I detect these things. Even when I'm looking directly ahead, I can detect. He's trying to f*** Brittany Renner. Dick. So That's I'm going to give, her, I'm gonna give her some of my clementine, and she's going to feel better. So I'm going to get a clementine for you. <clears throat> Would you like some clementine, my dear? I'm sure. You want some I clementine? I just, I think for me, it's like. This I, is... I asked you a question. Would you yeah, like some I would love some. Yeah. You want some clementine? Yeah. We're going to hook it up. Okay. Clementine's coming. All right. Go on. Continue. Okay. What? No, I mean, I just feel like this is definitely a different conversation. Oh, God. He's not very good, in my opinion, but she might still be into it. Who knows? We'll see. For me, because I, I'm very open-minded. I love hearing different <laughs> perspective, and I do feel like um, this is a newer idea. Like, like you said, within the last 30, 40 years, this is a new concept. We don't know how it's going to end. I just know from, from like my experience, other women that I've met as well, it's like... The reason for even like relationships, why they're not lasting is because people don't want to put up with the disrespect. And like, even when you were talking about like, oh, it's okay for me to cheat, but not for you. My thing is, is like, why not have transparency and have it be polygamous, poly, uh, polyamorous, whatever works for you. That's like, to me, where it loses me with the traditional stuff. I get it. There are people who subscribe to hyper expressions of masculine and femininity, but conforming to either involves denying aspects of your identity for men. It's a denial of any traits that are deemed emotional because they're too feminine, but the high performance of masculinity and femininity are both toxic and result in somewhat underdeveloped or half-formed individuals who need the half to live a normal life. It's All like, right. why can't we have so, transparency okay. if I sign up for that? Cool. So how does it, no, okay, no, no man, <laughs> no man in a million years, let's all be realistic, right? No man in a million years is going to meet a girl he likes and go, I want to be polyamorous. Like, come on, that's gay. Let's cut this bullshit. So let's, let's be realistic. How does a man show love to a woman? What? Tell me. Exclusivity. Wrong. That is how time it, resources wrong. and something else. Time resources. So yeah. that's a good that's a good way to start. So sexual exclusivity is how a female shows primarily primarily that she's interested in a man. He's mm. the only man who has sexual access to me because I can get pregnant and I, I and this man is the only man who can do it. That's how it's done. A man, yes, I'm not saying all men can cheat. I'm not saying all men should cheat. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that if I truly love a woman, she won't sit there and go, he shows me his love because he doesn't f anyone else. She'll sit there and go, he shows me his love because my bills are paid. I'm in a Bentley. I drive, fly private. I go to Dubai anytime I want. I have a Chanel bag. Yeah, this is like, this is so incredibly fucking insecure, dude. Hey, uh, if you have misophonia, you should yourself, okay? What's your view of Pearly? I think she is awful. But honestly, listen, basic bitches need a lane, okay? If you can't make it on like... If you can't make it in like other lanes that there that are available, this is as old as time itself. It's as old as a tale as old as time itself. If you're like you can't make it in the big leagues like Tommy Lauren and shit, you know you have no personality. So what are you supposed to do? You're supposed to like go ham on the trash cast shit with hopes that like men will overlook how awful your personality is, and also ironically, I guess overlook the world where you are tested on the middle of how good you look, how like how well of an object of desire you are as a woman. It's the it's the same dichotomy as like turfs looking bricked the f up. It's like, what is wrong with you that you literally think like if I'm as turfy as possible, if I like create these like uh rigid standards of femininity and beauty, like maybe uh men are gonna think that you're a woman? No, they They'll literally think, they will always think that if you are a turf, most men are going to look at you and go, oh, that's like a trans woman. They're going to think you're a man half the time. They like literally misgender turfs. So why are you trying to live in a society where men are going to keep clocking you when you're not trans? It's so weird. It's the same as just pearly things. It's like, I'm sure you have certain qualities, right? Like, I'm sure you have certain 
qualities that are uh uh i'm great i guess i don't i haven't seen it but what i find very strange about this is like you are building a world or you are reinforcing a world in which like men view you as simply just an object of desire and a good wife and nothing else but you don't even have those qualities you're chirping on the internet you don't know how to churn butter all you know how to do is yap 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 and you don't even look good so what the fuck are you doing you're not hot and all you know is how to do a podcast where you're chirping all the time so who the f is gonna choose you in the society that you have cultivated it's as if hasan Abi went buck wild and said that everyone above five seven had to shave their legs amputated while being a runner she's going against their own interests yeah exactly in love with side chicks very good question and this is a long and in-depth answer but it's a good question let me peel my clementine but um no but it's a good question where is too far i think publicly disrespecting is too far so, like, you'll, you'll notice, let's take the Moscow G, all right? Let's take an oligarch, a billionaire from Moscow. He has his wife. He has the girls he's in the club with. The girls he's in the club with wouldn't dare message his wife. They wouldn't dare step out of line. Like, they know their place, right? So if there's a hierarchy and they know their place, that's one way of doing it. Mm -hmm. Spending money on a girl, sh certainly, yeah, because men show love primarily through our, through our hard work. Not just through our resource, but through our hard work. If you take a man who's not particularly rich, he... Bro, this is so fucking stupid. He, he is so, oh God, I love when he starts talking about like what men should do in relationships because he's such a uber. Listen, if you are an Andrew Tate fan still, like, and I myself am, you know, I'm a big fan of Andrew. If you think he's giving you the blueprint of how to behave in a relationship, your girlfriend, if you are ever even lucky enough or, you know, found someone who was dumb enough not to see how much of a fucking child you are, they're going to someone else. They're going to cheat on you. One million percent. And it, it will be your fault. The only thing you can offer a woman is material security or like supposed physical security. And you treat them like they're not human beings or cattle and you try to cheat on them. They're going to cheat on you. They're going to fuck you over. And you're going to kind of deserve it. Let's be real. Relationships are supposed to be conducted on the basis of mutual respect and self-assurance. If you do not have confidence, if you are just reeking with insecurity... You are not going to be able to actually respect your partner. And if you do not respect your partner, your partner's not going to respect you. To the people who are saying, lol, Tate has so much trouble finding a girl. Are you f joking? You think this has been in a real relationship ever, dude? What are you talking about? It's the fresh and fit dichotomy. The only type of girls that you want to have on your show are girls with like, are girls that want to make uh, their Instagram clout pop off. And of course, their perspective is going to be skewed. And then they make it seem like all women are that way, okay? And some of those women are fine, by the way. They're perfectly fine, uh, the, the fresh and fit girls. But some of them aren't, okay? There's a lot of dumb bitches out there. It's the same for men and women. The difference is when you see a dumb bitch who's a man, you don't think all men are dumb bitches like this. But when you see a dumb bitch who's a woman, you go, oh, this is how all women are. That's how it works. Or you just assume they're all they're all this way. You just have a monolithic understanding of a marginalized group. He shows his wife love by getting up every day, going to work nine to five, working his ass off and paying those bills. That's how he shows love. That's why he does it for his wife and his children. Most men are out here working bullshit jobs, carrying trash. They're doing that to show love. So show, giving money, yeah, that would be a far more scary indicator than just sex. Let me give you all an example. I don't know if you all know my history, but I used to run a webcam business a long time ago. Don't want to talk about it, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but I had a bunch it. of girls who used to sit online and talk to guys, and they had laptops, right? This is a long time ago. And I used to sit and say to some of the webcam girls, I'd say, this man who is sitting in and logging in every night and sending you money every day and telling you he's obsessed with you from the other side of the world and missing out on time with his family to sit here and talk to you and send you money – that is more cheating than if he just went out and banged something. If he went out and banged something and came home, mm. then done. But he's sitting here giving you his time, his money, his affection. That's cheating for a man. For a man to sit there and give money and time away, right? Yeah. So you have to stop this idea of sexual exclusivity. Yes, that's for females. That's how females show their love to men. It's not <laughs> how high status, at least, males show their love to females. And, and anyone who wants to disagree with me, call me wrong, call me misogynist, whatever bullshit. You? Look at a history book. Every king, every sultan, every conqueror, every emperor, every night mm. all of them all of them had maidens wives all of them that's that's history what level of oh. g do you have to be to be allowed to cheat aiden was saying how he lives life transactional now with every girl and basically tells aunt to keep the girl out after he nuts no joke he said it on stream dude this is like unironically teaching an entire generation of boys to just be like the most awful humans dude you are never gonna have 
you are never going to have like a genuine loving relationship. Well, oh, no, no. I, it's not about even being allowed to cheat. I'm not even <laughs> saying that. He said, if you feel attacked by what he said, you might be part of the issue. Brother, I'm sorry to say this, but I'm a multimillionaire 31 year old who women thirst after publicly on the internet. Do you think I'm a part of the problem? Do you think I'm actually being uh, uh, like genuinely harmed here? Like, are you fucking stupid? Open your eyes, idiot. Like, Jesus Christ, 90% of the fucking criticism that I receive is because I have a nice car and I bought a house. All the shit that Andrew Tate unironically uses as, like, a talking point to make himself seem like a better person, I avoid talking about, and yet my haters constantly bring it up as a fucking own. Also depends on the partner you're with. I'm not trying to sit here and advocate for men to run around and fuck a bunch of women. I'm not saying that. That's I'm what just, you're doing, No, but I'm not. No, 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 no. Let no, him no, explain. Pay. Let him land. I'm Let not, him land. It's about okay. to cut. Now, what's this? Let him land. No, but I'm not. Then. I, I'm not. What I'm actually trying to do is describe the baseline unfortunate realities of human dynamics. Mm. And, and I'm trying to explain now to the world that any woman can get a man who will not cheat on her if she's prepared to sacrifice a bunch of other things, perhaps, right? In the olden days, it was different. The world was a different place. It was a completely different place, and it was better. Now it's all fucked up. It's fucked up on every level. And men, especially the high-status men, most of them have struggled so hard to become high-status. They've been through so much shit to get where they are. It's like telling him, if you climb this mountain, you can go to a candy store. And he climbs to the top of the mountain, and the second he's in the candy store, after one piece of candy, that bitch is saying, no, no more candy. He's like, no, I just climbed this mountain. I just got rich. I just went through X, Y, Z. I finally got here. I'm finally in the candy store. Now you're telling me I can only have one piece of candy? Okay. What man's going to do that? Do you think, do you, you think, do you? Bro, that's sad. That's literally sad. You are a child. This is how I used to think when I was 14. Holy shit. You want to get so much power and so much money? specifically so you can fuck a bunch of women like bro there are so many broke boys out there that are that are already doing that they just look good they're a little bit more confident some of them are skaters okay that's what it is it's just like no one no one is this fucking insecure this publicly without having millions of dumb motherfuckers not recognize that he is so insecure overcompensating for said insecurity through material possessions i'm losing my fucking mind i feel like i i'm watching a kid Okay, I'm watching a grown ass man who is still stuck being a fucking child so deeply and undesirably immature. And he just basically hit the kid lottery and was able to get money. Okay, by scamming other kids, sometimes literal kids, most of the time adults that have kid brains. And he just keeps reinforcing that same bullshit. Like he's like, yes, when you have money, you can fuck a lot of bitches. It's like, oh, you can fuck a lot of bitches when you're bro uh, when you're broke. You just can't be you know, reeking, oozing with insecurity. That's one thing you can't do. And, uh, you know, maybe you'll be able to pay for it when you have money, okay? But again, they're not there for you. You're just a wallet with an ugly, weirdly shaped cock at that point, okay? And if you don't look within and you don't actually change things about yourself, you are always going to be that person. And you're never going to be happy if you think women are just like, you know, pussy holes that you've come inside of and not like an actual partner that you are looking for, like a life partner that you're looking for that supports you in your weak moments, in times of need, you know what I mean? That builds you up, that pushes you to the next step. If you think that it's just like, if that's not what a relationship is like, you're never going to be in a good relationship. You are going to be lonely for the rest of your life, constantly upset. You're going to die alone. Maybe you'll be lucky enough to like have grandchildren, okay? Maybe you're lucky enough to have children, but they're going to fucking despise you. It's sad. It's sad as And that's the scariest part about this is that, like, this is the type of shit that works really well on young kids, okay, who do not have the emotional maturity. Their growth is stunted. They don't see it. They look at the flashy things. They look at the color. They look at the fucking shapes, and they go, oh, that's great. He has it. He has it. What he has is some level of wealth, and, and that's it. That's why that's the only thing he fucking promotes constantly. Look at my car. I have a Bugatti. Look at my private jet. I have a Bugatti. I have a Bugatti. I have nice clothes. I'm killing it. Half of that shit is fake anyway. But, like, that's the dumbest part about this is that, like, he hasn't even achieved the success in the field that he's talking about. Do you think that men owe a woman loyalty if she was there from the beginning? Absolutely. They absolutely owe that woman lo loyalty. Oh, sorry, sexual loyalty. That's what I meant. Sexual, hey. sexual exclusivity yeah, yeah. is different. Men, sorry, I mean, 
Sexual exclusivity and loyalty are completely <laughs> disconnected for males. Nobody wants to talk about this, but it's the unfortunate reality. It's true. I'm telling you, you can get a man. He can go on a holiday, can fuck some stripper, can come home, and you can lie detector test him. Do you love your wife? Would you die for your wife? Would you take a bullet for your wife? That it, he'll pass the lie detector test. He loves... You don't understand. Let me respond to you by completely making up a situation like what does that mean bro the only way to agree with this is if you already agree with the things that he's saying it's hard to do anything for her it's just it's just pussy it's not okay. a big deal it's but different I, I feel like i guess my question would be then is like how do you view sex because i i like sex at the end of the day is spiritual unification i feel like i've gone through a lot of different stuff i've had a lot of different experiences where i did not value myself so i never had a man that valued me so it's like yeah you rack up that's uh, bro right there lover hater whatever it doesn't fucking matter i don't give a shit that point is unironically infinitely more adult than andrew tate and anything he's ever said uh, yes that is uh britney renner no like that that literally is that's is true if you don't value yourself then you will never get someone to value you okay a lot of men do this all the time or they're like constantly desperate for pity pussy or they're just like desperately fucking texting over and over again or um, I guess on the inverse universe, Andrew Tate would call this putting a pussy on a pedestal. Why are you doing that? If someone doesn't want to spend time with you, then why the f do you want to spend time with them? Find someone else. Uh, guys and guys, you shouldn't be texting back or whatever. But I feel like there, I understand that there is a difference with how men view sex and how they move around in the world. But it's like sex is a sacred thing, no matter a male or female is doing it. So that's why for me, like my biggest, like the hardest for me to understand is like, this is such a, a, a sacred thing, and it's just being, it's like a, taking a piss for a guy. Can I, can I just say something? You sure you weren't making love to somebody that was having sex? I'm sorry? You weren't, you sure that you weren't making love to somebody with, that was just having sex? A and T, that's a nice, that's Have I? The only reason why she said that is to break her down, by the way. That's so catty. She straight up fucking hit her with that. Just, it's not productive. It's not a productive reason to fucking bring it up. But she only wanted to say that to break her down. Like, oh, you thought you were having a spiritual unification, whereas he was just f you. It's just like, it's just to make her feel bad, 100%. And also, not every f interaction, not every inter sexual interaction has to be f spiritual, okay? I don't, I don't even agree with that take in with its entirety. I just agree with the fact that, like, you have to value yourself first. Confidence comes from within. And if you are confident, and if you value yourself, then you can find a healthy and productive partner okay no th that's what it sounds like to me it sounds like as women they make love mm -hmm. to men that are just having sex right that's but the that, difference that's not the point but, but, but my thing is okay but I think, not but all I the think, time. so i think when men hear that though it's like if it was sacred to you you would have waited till you were married but it's and like i, I got Right. No, I get, yeah, I get yeah. that. But the, the reality is, is that the world is not so black and white. So I understand that there are these things in place that worked and made sense. And now we're approaching an era that like, we don't know what's going to happen, but there's gray area. You've had sex. I've had sex. She's had sex. We've had sex with different guys. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean that we're damaged goods. We're used goods. I understand status is a big part of that. I understand yeah. that sex is viewed differently, but I feel like you should not if you're if you're looking at face value, I can understand why you would be judged from your past. Mm -hmm. But if if I'm a guy interested in you, I don't care about what you've done. But, 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 no, but no, that's the thing. The, the, like, like men men do though. That that's the thing. Like like a, a virgin's more valuable to a man than a girl that's had sex. <laughs> Fuck this stream. Jewish labor bond. Fuck this stream. I'm gonna go hang out with my family or something. Listen. That's productive, okay? Uh, but okay. Uh, the modern man's solution even, even, is not even. a virgin. A modern man needs a partner, somebody that's actually look smart it, and look can it. survive in the world look of today. But I'm saying the men with and the that's going to be a lived the most, woman. The men with the most choice are going to pick women that are more pure in general. The ones that are already like, self-made, I guess so. But that's the thing. The reality too, is, like. the reality is. Bro, I swear, I think she's saying that specifically. She's like, yeah, men really want virgins, right? You really want a virgin, right? Come on. Like a virgin that wears like a, like a bonnet that specifically went and bought that dress to look more like that meme, the trad cath like meme, right? That's what men want, right? Like someone who definitely hasn't ever had sex. Come on, please. Like maybe a virgin who has a podcast. Listen, there's nothing wrong. If you want to preserve your virginity, go off, okay? 
have fun is that there's a lot of men out there especially in the world that we live in today that need a partner so it's time for those masses of men to start respecting women for the role they can play in their I lives i don't think i don't do, think average men expect women you know to what be it virgins. is do you know what it is but <laughs> it's this rhetoric that actually then is pumped into these minds and creates what people are not complaining about the misogynistic world no, you know that's what, what it is and even in schools it's, be, it's like it, permeated it through it all and perpetuated why is it misogynistic for men to prefer, prefer women that are more it's mature. not that it's but it's not that's not the problem the problem is now Listen, the maths is very simple. You've got people like Andrew Tate talking about these things with such clarity and it makes so much sense because it is true, right? And then you have men that are in these situations where just average, working an average job and they cannot fulfill whatever definition is called to be a man in these Yes, definitions. they can. And that's no, what they, he said. He did no, say that. Yes, they can. No, uh, a nine to five man can do it. But then again, but wait, wait, this is the thing. What we're talking about as a man, and this is why I say it's very important for us to understand the person that we're speaking to. And I'm very glad. I just don't think Andrew wants to be around women. Like, I'm going to be honest with you. Like, I, I think legitimately, like, we make the jokes and we say, like, he's kind of zesty, whatever. He's a bit queer coded. Like, all this stuff is whatever, right? Like, they're true, but I just don't think he likes women in general. There are a lot of misogynistic men who still, like, love the idea of a woman. You know what I mean? Who, like, still want to have, like, a partner, but they never really quite understand why they can't get one because they just are like oozing with like undesirable traits that women know, at least experienced women know to avoid. Andrew, on the other hand, doesn't strike me as a type of person who has any interest in women whatsoever. It's like every single time you see him around women, it just look, it just feels like he's just disgusted. I use clarified everything that you mean. Not every man is like Andrew Tate. Not every man is going to be able to even realistically demand for certain things from a woman. So the same way, way women need to compromise if it comes to a man who is going to cheat on her because he's a top G, is the same way men are going to have to compromise and stop you know, blabbing men, about but, purity yeah, yeah, men, when they but, can't you demand for that. You didn't get none of what you did. Dude, it's like, how can there be an argument like this where just pretty much every single person is in the wrong? Like, they have different perspectives on a matter, but they're all wrong. I haven't heard, like, one good take so far it's wild it is kind of interesting to watch like a group of individuals who are seemingly arguing with one another but they're like all wrong in different ways i made my point that was the whole point that, what point well duh what because you just quoted him you just said about his no. thing and you didn't know only did i get class i made my point you i said the average man does not have what it takes to demand you know, for a virtual you know, you know, you know, he already said that he already said and that and i reiterated you know in my own words for my own yeah no you said no did you not hear what she said no i did i think she's wrong oh well you know uh men need to take an l because they're not all top g's so they can't like make demands out of women and uh, or, or sorry uh women need to take an l and uh you know recognize she's basically saying everybody needs to hold an l and like date within their range or uh you know uh temper their expectations to what their qualities are right like that's wrong if you are confident in yourself you can you can have certain expectations out of a relationship and you will inevitably find someone who also is fine with those expectations yes i do agree with like dating within your dating pool or whatever the fuck right like uh that that sense of entitlement that a lot of boys have unironically creates this weird space literally are like saying oh well i want like the top you know i want i want a girlfriend i want to fuck someone but like no one wants to fuck me but they're like not really going after anybody that they potentially could in their immediate vicinity that they could talk to or whatever like they are also unaware that they're trying to hook up with like the hottest women you know what i mean because they feel entitled to that they just can't comprehend it but ultimately yes you are right the dating pool is pretty subjective and somewhat vague exactly you did for my page and do you so know what, what it is right uh -huh. is that too many women they see regular guys and they feel they're settling you're not settling you're getting what you deserve but you can't be asking well, you're not settling do you know you're not most, settling you can't. but the difference is men know this like most average men are not the, the average men know what they want kind of but the difference is that's bullshit that's bullshit she's lying the idea of like hypergamy being an exclusive female trait is so fucking stupid it's something that I talk about all the time. Hypergamy, the idea that like uh, red pillars always present, which is that like women always want to date up. They want to find like the sexiest, most like financially stable partner, the most powerful partner they can. That's such an idiotic take because it's like, dude, men want that too. There is not a single guy out there who's like, nah, I want someone that's ugly. Why? That is inherently a false statement because beauty 
is subjective. You are not going to look for someone who you don't find attractive to you. It's very stupid. Nobody's like, nah, man, I want specifically someone that I cannot stand to look at. I just can't stand to look at them. That's what I want. That's what really turns me on. No, everybody, everybody, everybody wants who they find desirable. That's it. Wait, the difference is average men know they don't deserve a 10. They know they don't deserve an eight. They know they don't even deserve a seven. And they still and go the messaging them and on the stories no, and no, all this dumb stuff not, that is just though. ugly. Like most men in history haven't even reproduced. And so it's like men know, but we, the women, they're the ones that are delusional. There's That's why you have men Lizzo there. There's shooting men her shot at there. Chris Hemsworth. There's, Chris Hemsworth. There's regular men out there that <laughs> yeah, will, that will have you two, down. A two. It's just a human trait, okay? That's it. You're describing a human trait and saying that it's only women that do this, okay? The idea that, like, the idea that, uh, you know, women want Chris Hemsworth. Women only want Chris Hemsworth. It's like, women think that they deserve Chris Hemsworth. Like, said Lizzo is a two? Wait, what? Chris Hemsworth. There's regular men out there. There's regular men out there. Chris Hemsworth. Why is that a problem? Like, why is that a problem? Everyone should shot shoot or shoot you are the last person to be involved in ranking women's attractiveness man what are you doing you're opening up the door to people being ruthless to you how do you not understand this your entire audience is now built on top of like resenting women and only only caring about them as objects of desire what the f you're so stupid it's so dumb to just be like, Lizzo is a two. It's like, bro, what do you mean? Do you not see what's going on right now? You don't subscribe to traditional Western beauty standards either. There's regular men out there that <laughs> yeah, will, that will have you two, down. A two. Yeah, but can I just say, people are I watching Tate, not that. understanding that Tate is part of that 1% of success. Good, but, but and that and they but, think that they can demand the same thing. No, no, they, they can okay, demand well, purity. They, they, but one but second, the, one second, one second. Sorry, sorry. I understand the point you're all making, but one, let's understand something. To the sexual marketplace, females have always been and still to a degree are the gatekeepers. It's men will – you can think about it in a very simplistic way. This is not the case, but let's simplify it for the sake of argument. Imagine men will run around and fuck anything and women are the ones who say yes or no. You are the gatekeepers that have all the power. And this is what's actually truly interesting about the sexual marketplace because whenever women go, there's not enough good men, nah, 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 then why are you fucking – of course, why would they be good if you don't make them be good? You're fucking losers. So, that's, that's so, a good point. so women. So you're talking about. I'm saying that you know the man at a certain level can't do certain things. Da, da, da. If you were with Joe Schmo and he wasn't treating you the way you believe Joe Schmo should treat you, then why are you with? Leave, Sis, leave. Like you women, women have the gatekeeping. So if you get Joe Schmo and he treats you like you're you're his queen and treats you perfect, good. If you get a fucking guy at the absolute upper echelons of value and and you still don't aren't happy with what he's giving you, then leave. Women are the gatekeepers. You women actually have all of the power. This is what's beautiful to, about the whole thing. Yeah. Women are constantly complaining. You have all the power. You're the ones who get to choose. Do you know who you should be mad at for all this shit? I'll tell you who you should be mad at. Do you know who threw away all the female power in the sexual marketplace? Promiscuous females. Because now you got chicks. Who will bang anybody without trying? So why should a dude get up and try? No, Do you, you have any no. idea how hard it is to actually be? Let me make this clear. Dude, there are promiscuous women out there, and yet none of your followers are getting pussy, okay? So what's that? Your argument is just done. Like, I, I, if I was an Andrew Tate fanboy and I'm like 14 years old, I'd be like, wait, where? Mr. Tate, where are they? On God. I've been rising. I've been rising so hard, Mr. Tate, on God, for real, for real. I've seen zero pussy on God. These bitches don't fuck me. Where? Where are they, bro? Where are they at? It's a mental breakdown. Men, day after day, especially if you're a high-level man. Let me make it something clear from my life. I'll talk from personal experience. I'm not just looking after me. I'm not just looking after my chick. I'm the guy in about 300 people's phone books that they call when anything big goes wrong. You get arrested in Russia, you need extraction from Ukraine, you need a million dollars, whatever it is. Dude, Andrew Tate is literally the fucking, the pathological liar in every friend group. I'm gonna lose my mind. It's like, like I've heard, I've heard takes like this, man. I've heard takes like this. Everybody's, everybody's friend group has that guy. But like, you're not supposed to fucking believe the guy, bro. You're supposed to make fun of him. What the f is wrong with so many of these he said i'm the guy you go for when you need to extract yourself out of ukraine it's like no what i don't think you are that guy
I don't think you're him. Kazakhstan abduction. They call me. I'm the first phone call. I'm fixing 400 different lives. I'm a problem solver. Chicks can't fix fucking any of this shit, right? This is how hard it is to be a man. And it's amazing. But I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think he's that guy. I, I'm, <laughs> I would go so far as to say, and I stake my reputation, everything else on it, that there are, and I can't believe I'm defending the State Department here, kind of, a number of women working for, uh, you know, working as diplomats, working for the State Department, that would be infinitely more valuable to know in this circumstance if you get into trouble overseas, especially if you're an American citizen, than this dumb, bald fuck, okay? Like, this man is known for, this man is known for, like, seducing men on the internet uh, instead of his the, the girls that were working for him under very shoddy and weird conditions. Is he going to flirt with the fucking Kazakhstan prison guard? Is that what he's going to do? He's going to be like, I am a woman, and I will fuck you really hard. Because society expects it of you, but so do women. If, if you had a man, be honest, you had a man, and you went to your man and said, oh, I've got this problem, it's, uh, I can't fix this, it's broken, the car tire's broken. And he went, I don't know. You would dry up. Like, you'd be like, well, fuck it, what the fucking point are you? That's the truth. You could sit here and go, oh, we'd call a mechanic. No, you wouldn't. You'd look at your man and go, what do you mean you can't fix it? I'll do it myself. Waste, she, man. And this, yeah, and this is what she's saying about your man will get up and go, and you know what's beautiful about masculinity? A bunch of times a man will go up and he doesn't have a clue how to fix it himself. Mm -hmm. But he'll go, don't worry, baby, okay. Mm -hmm. And he'll stand up with no money and no clue and he'll go out there and fucking try and find a way because as a man, you need to be useful. It is so difficult to be a man. You have no idea the amount of pressure that we're under from society and from the women we even want to associate mm -hmm. with. On a whole, it's difficult. So you have to keep all these things in mind. It's hard. But can I ask you a question? You see nice. what you just said about, yeah, the top G, that if they had money, you can fly planes and fly that. Drop it down to if you were earning, like, say, 50000 a year. Yep. Couldn't you be that same person amongst your peers? 100% you That's could. That's what I'm trying to say. 100% you could. And also, also you have to... Uh, money doesn't make you a top G. Uh, no, no, money is an amplifier. So that's, that's the first thing about money. Money amplifies. Men can make money. Money does not make men. If you're a dork and you get rich, you're a rich dork. <laughs> yeah, like him. <laughs> Literally. No, that's him. You, you got to... You got to recognize you're talking about yourself at that point, right? Like, there's got to be a little part of your brain that went, oh, fuck, maybe they're on to me here. He's right, yeah. You're a fucking dork-ass loser, and you make money. Now you're just a rich, dork-ass loser. Hot take, I genuinely do not believe Tate knows how to change a tire or use jumper cables. I mean, it depends on his proximity to wealth, right? Like, how long ago did he get a fucking Bugatti and became rich? Not the most skillful motherfucker, right? But even I know how to change a tire. And even I know how to fucking use jumper cables. Why? Because my Toyota Camry used to get fucked up all the goddamn time. Okay? So I learned. I had to. <laughs> I didn't have a lot of money. So I had to figure it out on my own. All those hidden talents come from brokenness. Yeah, literally. You just have to like fix shit on your own. You can't pay someone to do it. I can change a tire as a woman. Should I leave my boyfriend? He doesn't even have a car. Get out of there. Broke boy.